What is going on guys, my name is Jack. Today we'll be going over some commands that was requested for kick, ban, and unban. Um, we're just going to go over them. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, and yeah, so for this video I have just generated a bunch of bots and added them so we could test these with the kick and ban. Um, and I'll show you guys how to like have a message as well. So let's get into it. So for this one, we're just going to make another another command folder and call it admin. Uh, we're just going to name this one admin. You don't have to. You can put them on the same folder if you want to, but for the purpose of this video, uh, we will. And we're just going to copy this. We'll just copy this entire thing and just take a bunch of stuff out. So this we don't need. And change this to admin. And we also, yeah, got these, we don't have to add them either. So we'll make a kick command. Command, and we'll just go okay, kick. And we'll just make a description. Description kicks member. Um, oh my god, guild. I'll just do public. Async task. Oh, I can't type today. Task kick. I'm a little bit tired. I'm trying to do command ctx. And I think it's Discord member. Member. Uh, the green line doesn't matter because we'll add. Ah, uh, I'm here. Ah, oh, new Discord. I made better. I was close, but I'm just a little bit tired. And we'll just go here and do Discord uh, description. And we'll just add here and we'll make a string. So we'll do concatenation. I will just do a normal string here. Uh, and we'll just do member has been kicked from guild and we'll just do we'll do up here as well do member we'll do async so we'll do await member dot kick ah remove async then down here we just do cta ah yes yeah, ctx dot Spun async embed and we'll run this for async. That's the basics of how to do a command. Uh, you don't have to do an embed, uh, you don't have to do an embed. You can just type in here. I can just do this member has been kicked. Guild. You can do something like that, but for this video, we're just gonna put in an embed. And let me just grab this butt token. Oh, wrong button. Let me go back to program. Put in here. And let's just register it. So it's commands, register, and register admin. And set this. And we'll just kick one. So our prefix is a dot. So kick the capital. It's lowercase. And it is a dot. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just do mod bot. As you can see, member was kicked. And it shows you the shows you the um ID yes, and, and so on. It's been kicked from the guild. So all the other commands are pretty much similar. Um 
we'll do a ban command commands and we'll name this one ban and we'll just do our description men's member from guild public async task async task ban Task with a capital task ban and command command contact CTX disk member and again green line so we could just do our uh, I'm just gonna put everything in an embed just because I, I feel like it description we'll put our string Um, and that has been, uh, oops, and it has been banned from guild. And the reason why I'm letting it show the member ID and stuff is as well because with the unban, uh, you can't actually just use a user name, you have to have their ID. I believe I tried it with both. It wasn't working the only way because I had to work out what the way was to use the command, which was a little bit confusing. Um, I didn't do CTX. We'll just run this to a right, and then we'll just do one button. And we'll just do member dot ban async and await. Now all the async task and await does is just makes it so it runs async. So like it doesn't wait for one task to complete and then do another thing. It will just all run simultaneously. And dot the uh, so that should have just added it. I'm using Visual Studio 2022, so it's a capital B, like this. And then we should be able to just do this and ban, let's say, mod modder. Did that not update? Alright, let's try this again. Ban at Alright, uh, so it's banned him. If we go to test servers, uh, if we go to settings, see here, banned. We're not going to revoke, we're going to actually use the unban now. Right, so to do the um, unban command, we're just going to do unban. Um, I'll just do a description. Unbans member from guild. I do public async task unban. And we could do that, but we're going to actually change this here. The Discord user user. Oops. And then we can do our var embed. Uh, just leave. I stuffed up doing this. I had to redo this part here, so the video might be a little bit scrappy. But um, description. Um, user has been. Um, banned from 
guild. What now? Ah, oh, okay. I'll just do ctx dot dot respond dot respond async embed. Yep. And then oh, it's gonna ask to embed that async. We could do a white user dot unban async. What is, seems to be the problem? Uh, so we'll change this to Discord. Discord. Guild. Guild. Sorry about this, I forgot how to do it. Dot. Um, bam, bam, I see. There we go. Uh, and then we need to go here and add Discord. There you go. As you guys can see here, I did stuff up, don't it? But we are back on track. Do I do the guild first? All right, so we just did it. So the actual way to do it is doing unban server. So you put server ID and then you put the uh, user ID. I'll leave this in the description because it is a little bit confusing. Um, but I'll be honest, I don't really think you need to have that unban command. You, it's pretty easy just to go up here, unban member. Uh, sorry about this video, it's a bit scruffy, I am very tired, um, the next one will be a bit better, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.